All right, let's get into big business. There is a house in Atlanta right now that you may not know is the most expensive house in the history of Atlanta real estate, which is for sale right now. You're watching Open House. From Washington, we head south to Georgia. Listed at $48 million, we are inside the most expensive home in Atlanta. Known as Chestnut Hall, this estate sits on more than 18 acres with 17,000 square feet of living space, seven bedrooms, a manager's home, and a pool house. You have plenty of space for, well, just about anything. All right, let's bring in the lucky guy who's one of the uh, the team that is listing this. Eric Peterson, welcome to The Morning X. Good morning. How are you? Excellent. I, I guess when you have a 40-plus million dollar listing, you're pretty excellent. I'm pretty excellent, but I'll be happier when it sells. So w- <laughs> what is the current price of this house? It is currently listed 46.8. That okay. is fully furnished. So that clip came from a TV show in New York that I found. And so they came down like a million and a half or whatever. Right. Is this somebody like running out of town? They're selling it completely set up? He's got a little more motivation now, which is why he dropped the price. But yeah, he's he's trying to keep, he feels the home is beautiful, but the accessories, the antiques, the statuary, it all adds, it's sort of icing on the cake. And without all of that, you know, you are, you know, not experiencing the full full picture. I mean, Jay-Z and Beyonce just bought like a $70 million house in California, they could have bought this and saved money. Exactly. Do you think about it? Exactly. What? Can I ask you a question? I know this is probably silly, but this is where my head goes. How much is the cleaning service for a house that oh, big? You know, I have no idea, <laughs> but I was surprised he doesn't really have someone in there on a you know, daily basis. It's He does have a home manager, and she does oversee. They have you know the crews that come in for the lawn and the, the cleaning. I think it's just once a week. Well, I was looking through, and I found it on Zillow, and we've put on the Morning X page at 99X.com. You can take a look at it. Most expensive house in Atlanta history at 46.8 mil. It's at 4665 Riverview Road. Road, Sandy Springs. So if you don't know that road, it's right where Northside is coming up on the top by Holy Innocent School, like right just inside the perimeter. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of behind some bushes, right? You can't really see it when you're... Yeah, it's it's secluded. Um, but again, being that close to 25, you don't hear it. It's okay. it's amazing. You hear nothing but nature. It's, it's a wonderful... It's, you know, it's massive. Oasis. I looked up the taxes. The taxes were last year 1. I think 2 million just for the taxes. And Fram, you were talking about the operational expenses of this house. But what does that mean? What is you're listing this on a team at Keller Williams, by the way, which you know Jimmy Barron works at Keller Williams, and he's not. That's here. true. He came to our event that we had last week and uh, <gasps> got to spend some time with him. And so he he came to an event at this house. Yes, we had a uh, luxury symposium here in town for all the KW agents throughout the country, and then we kind of piggybacked on the, that event, which was you know a morning event. We brought him to the house from three to six. Well, be careful because that means he's trying to get it from you. <laughs> of course he is. Is. Jimmy Barron now is going to try to sell this house. He's going to try. Well, uh, if he tries to bring someone, I guess he would make. What would if Jimmy Barron brought someone to this, you know, to the table? Mm-hmm. What would his commission be on this? Oh, that's a good question. It'll be three percent of the, that final sales price. I'm sorry, so. I'm not that fast. Get your calculator <laughs> so out, Barron, right now. Forty-six million. That's a lot of zeros. So yeah. four uh-huh. six. 3%. Is that four six zero? Oh, oh, that's another one. Forty-six million times point oh three percent. That would be one hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars for okay. co- for commission. Jeez, are you sure that's right? That's gotta be, it's got to be. It's got to be more than that. What yeah. would it be? That? No, it's got to be more than that. It's got to be like a million something. Then that didn't happen. Then a million three. Then I put it. I didn't put enough zeros. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's go, Jimmy. Go. Have you called? Do you have Tyler Perry on fast dial? Because I feel like this could be another com- compound in Atlanta for Tyler. It's a good point, Leslie. Who buys a house like this? Right. Yeah. A good friend of mine is is very close to Tyler, and I have invited both uh, <gasps> my friend Jack and Tyler. I said I would love for you both to come in, tour the property, and then go you know share it with your friends and see what kind of uh, response we get. But yeah, I've, I've met Tyler a few times. He's a great guy, and I thought it would be great. I mean, there's a four bedroom guest house which could easily be re- 
you know, wow. converted to a, a sound studio. So maybe someone in the music industry. So there's, you know, some possibilities there to, to, to reconfigure the home and the estate. We're talking about the most expensive house in Atlanta real estate history, $46.8 million. It's over at 4665 Riverview Road. Honestly, besides the Tyler Perrys of the world, how, how many potential, like when, when someone says, hey, I'm interested and you start investigating, they need to be probably a billionaire, right? Right. I mean, this is so massive. Um, we've had a few inquiries already. It's been on the market two weeks, uh, one out of Singapore, and we feel either mm. that part of the world or Europe is really going to appreciate this the most. The statuary, the antiques, the history, you know, the style. It's very old world, and we feel like that's where we'll get the most traction. Leslie. You know, with the buyers. I, what do I we do have an, uh, Hold on. We're, we're, we're totally overlooking something. Will Pendarvis well, has been bitching and moaning about a new house. That's true. I'm looking here. The estimated payment is just 310000 a month. I mean, done. There is, and, you know, we can, he can get off of that, you know, the box he's living yeah, in. Yeah, done. Uh, so, Eric, what is, what is the security system like in a mansion and a state like this? What does that look like? It's pretty extensive. I mean, they can navigate everything through their phone or, or mobile device. So it's, you know, they don't want to just divulge everything to us because the home manager is present for all showings. So we're, you know, we're there and she's shadowing us to answer those, you know, questions immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they don't really, you know, we don't disarm, arm, they they manage all that. So I, I really can't tell you, but it, it's pretty extensive. 17,776 square feet, seven bedrooms, 11 baths, 12 parking spots. How many people live there now? Uh, one, a total of one. One. Never married, no kids. One dude. And yes. Can you say what he does for a living? He's retired. He's uh, 80 or 81 and just uh, ready for that next stage in life. He's <laughs> ready to step down from all this and see where that is. But he, we, we've, we've asked him, what does that next step look like? And he, he says, I'm not sure. I've lived in Palm Beach. I've, I've lived all over the world. I'm not sure. We'll we'll cover that when it when it presents itself. Can you say what since he's retired? What was his background that got him into a house like this? He started with encyclopedia sales, but then he had what? his own marketing company. What? And uh, a friend of mine said, "This home is showing off his success. This is where I started. This is where I ended up. You know, and I, I elevated myself, and this is what I've achieved." Now, when you're downsizing barns and you go from a seventeen thousand <laughs> square foot home, what does the downsizing look like? You're not going into a thirteen hundred square no. foot apartment are you do you know where he's going no he, <laughs> Come on. He, he probably does he's just not telling us but we've asked him and he's kind of playing coy a little bit with us so you know i'd be a little nervous though barnes if, if it was someone with kids and the kids try to play hide and seek you'd never find them <laughs> no well this is this is cool thanks for sharing it with us i think that being as iconic as labeled the most expensive house in atlanta history is pretty impressive. What was what was it before this one? Do you know? There's really no comps in this in this arena. We based the price on price per acre, which was uh, about a million an acre. The home around fifteen uh, million, and then the difference is the accessories, the antiques, statuary, the artwork. He's got one of three mosaics in the living room. If you look online, you'll see it's about seven feet tall, six feet wide. There's one of three. Two are in museums. He's got the third, and it's just you know there's a lot of one offs in that home that you can't replace if you. You needed to or wanted to. Leslie, think about it. There, not, there's probably not one Falcons player or Braves player that could afford this house. That's what I was thinking. I mean, realistically. I'm imagining who could afford it, and I keep thinking Tyler Perry. Right. Beyond that, at that level, have no celebrities have, have reached out? Not yet. Not yet. We're still filtering it out to those to those avenues and, wow. and seeing what kind of reception we get. All right, Eric. So uh, if any of our listeners... Because, you know, we have so many billionaires, oh, billionaires in our yes. 29 headcount. If you're interested, go to the Morning X page at 99x.com, and you can see the most expensive house in Atlanta history. Eric, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the opportunity. The Morning X with Barnes and Leslie. 99X.